hello students of class 12th uh, here we are discussing your syllabus and uh, after that i'll upload uh, all the possible chapters one by one uh, as i told you earlier some of the chapters like uh, prerequisite of alternating current and alternating current was being uploaded due to demand of the student requirement of the students now here we talk about the topic like uh, so this is syllabus directly from cbsc site and this is latest syllabus so the i hope there will be no changes and uh, we can go accordingly uh, you can see the number of periods there which is uh, of course very theoretical we cannot contain exactly same i'll try to give you concentrated topics and marks are very clearly mentioned here so first two chapters are basically electrostatics uh, two chapters makes all together in uh, electrostatics and they have included current electricity also in that and that makes uh, uh, first unit is electrostatics second unit is current electricity so we need some classes to understand each and every details of current elect electrostatics and then we'll go to current electricity current electricity which is unit 2 has got two parts and uh, first part will deal with drift velocity and somewhat like uh, unit 1 electrostatics uh, we'll talk about mobility of the charges inside the conductor and all this stuff and then second part is more engineering that will more deal with uh, Kirchhoff's law circuit problem and Wheatstone bridge and all this stuff so uh, this second chapter is uh, third chapter that is current electricity is ex exclusively numerical based chapter so one has to have very high level of numerical analysis in this some techniques i'll say some practice some critical numericals we'll discuss in this chapter and all chapters and then comes unit three which is basically magnetic effects of current and magnetism magnetism at search is a, a more theoretical based chapter but many numericals are very critical in uh, magnetism and to grasp magnetism uh, you need huge time and understanding because you have to visualize many things which is not visible Whereas moving charges and magnetism are comp not so complicated. We uh, normally they categorize moving charges into two categories. First part, it's talking about the moving charges in a conductor. So we can relate this with current electricity. And second part deals with uh, uh, moving charges in free space, uh, where we uh, conclude with uh, cyclotron, where charge moves in free space with some electric or magnetic field. So this is unit 3 and it's getting a mixed mark. I am not discussing mark because marks are having hodgepodge this side that side. Up take marks kaha kaisa ho hai. Now electromagnetic induction and alternating current. They goes together in unit 4 and electromagnetic induction is comparatively easy chapter which is theoretical based, theoretical based mostly Faraday's law and all this analyzed. But student face problem with alternating current because we have to have mathematical implementation of alternating current but if we do it systematically it won't be that tough for us we can easily understand what they are actually asking for even then numerical still remains a challenge uh, in this chapter alternating current because there can be anything asked and we have to be very well prepared for this and i'll go accordingly uh, then unit five is actually electric magnetic waves uh, though they gave a separate uh, unit for this but this is very simple topic i compare this to be actually complicated but we in a plus 12 level it's quite easy topic you can easily handle it so this is our electromagnetic waves we'll do a few things in this the syllabus is not so vast and marks are also not very huge given in this though they give in mixed way with optics and marks is given in optics but unit is separate so uh, almost four marks traditionally three to four marks are given to for electromagnetic waves then comes your optics ray optics and optical instruments ray optics is altogether different type of chapter in the whole syllabus of class 12th here you have to go very conventionally whatever is being said that you have to maintain and follow strictly some sign conventions are there some formulas some techniques are there you have to follow strictly here you have to mug up uh, and you have to follow exactly how it works so my target will be to make the ray optics concept very clear to you 
and first you understand the basics how actually it works and then go to the numerical part of this whereas wave optics is one of the most challenging and interesting but very small intensity topic for you a few topics are included in your syllabus of wave optics but i am sure you are going to enjoy this and wave optics and with wave optics you are actually moving towards the higher physics and uh, with higher physics i mean to say dual nature of radiation and matter we are slowly moving towards quantum physics so unit 7 deals with dual nature which is one of the most interesting topic in physics of the present day and we can deal with it very happy and your performance will be very good and i mostly deal with uh, some notes on these topics because if i spread more these are so vast chapters and the cvc syllabus uh, uh, doesn't permit to go beyond this level so i'll be stick to the topic of ncrt and uh, stick to the topic because it's a very wide chapter atoms and nucleus is similarly atoms and uh, nuclei again have same story they have uh, uh, a very wide spectrum so in as per cbse guideline we'll go to the specific topic and we'll go according to syllabus and we won't spread much even for entrance point of view we are not going to spread as much as possible and then comes your electronics devices that is semiconductor there is some problem with this chapter because uh, previously there was transistors in our previous syllabus there was transistors and uh, logic gates this has been removed from this and but in entrance syllabus till date i don't know the latest but till for this year uh, 2020 entrance uh, the logic gates and semiconductors are included so i have to give those topics separately in the entrance list not in this because in cbsc uh, board exams they don't include this so semiconductor becomes a tough challenge for you because diodes only are included topic here so and electronics material is quite tough topic so we have to in invoke again bring back i mean we purana current electricity ka shuruaat ke jo chap topics rahega mobility trip velocity ye sab utha ke la ke hame yahan analysis karke dekhna padega and it's a challenge because um, the type of questions they may ask you it can be just anything because it's very elaborate and it's very high level physics so you have to be very well prepared for this and another dangerous point some numericals are there many numericals are there but mostly they can ask you descriptive questions in poll and as you know in descriptive questions uh, chance of scoring high is comparatively less so we have to be very well prepared for this uh, i'm planning to uh, talk about uh, practical and i'm looking the avenues जैसे प्रैक्टिकल का कुछ नॉलेज आपको दिया जाए क्योंकि कुछ वर्चुअल लैब्स हैं आई एम ट्राइंग टू कोलाबोरेट लेट मी सी कुछ होता या नहीं देन आई ऑल्सो आप लोग सम प्रैक्टिकल विच आर एक्चुअली वर्चुअल प्रैक्टिकल एंड मे बी दैट विल हेल्प यू सो फॉर टाइम बिंग इट्स ओके फॉर योर सिलेबस विल सी दिस लेटर थैंक यू सो मच ऑल द बेस्ट